You wouldn't think uh, that uh, last week we would be having this wonderful spring-like stuff now. Ian's with us. Can we have more of that this week? Yes, indeed we can. Yes, no immediate risk of any snow on the horizon. It will get colder next week, though, incidentally. But tonight, uh, I fancy it should stay frost-free, so if you lost the ice scraper in the chaos of last week, panic not. It should be cloudy and dry tonight as well. And tomorrow, very much a repeat performance of today in many respects. Settled, dry and mild. We'll see a repeat of these lovely scenes from Rachel Aylesbury taken there up on top of the Cotswolds. Now, the reason we've got the mild air, we've got an anti-cyclone high pressure sitting to the southwest of the UK. That's dragging this mild air all the way up from the Azores. And that's what led to some pretty impressive temperatures through today, topped by Staverton in Gloucestershire, 13 degrees. And we think that that is the highest in England during the course of today. May well be repeated tomorrow. Through the course of tonight, then, always a largely cloudy cloudy picture, some mist forming, particularly over the higher ground. A few breaks here or there, so I suppose it's just about possible you might squeeze a frost out if the clear slots remain largely uh, for any length of time. But generally, these are the sort of values by the end of the night. Four, five degrees will be fairly typical. Now, through the course of tomorrow, we'll start off on a largely dull note. The cloud base will gradually lift. There's a good chance, much as today, that it will start to fragment, particularly down to the south and the west. And there's the sort of temperatures we're looking at again, widely 11 degrees, 12, again 13 I've put up in there, because I fancy that will be another top temperature tomorrow. But I think there will always be the emphasis mostly on cloud through the course of tomorrow, and it should stay dry. Again, through the course of the night into Wednesday, it remains essentially mild, so no problems with any frost. So it's a very similar story as we head into the tail end of this week. Indeed, high pressure in charge by Thursday, though, weak weather front, perhaps some light rain at times, but mild. Mm. But don't put the thermals away just yet. <laughs> no. Right. <laughs> well, that's it from us for now. Have a lovely evening, whatever you're doing. I'm back with the latest in the 10 o'clock news, but for now, very good evening to you. Bye-bye.